There's that wild hag, mole brown. Look, see, just past. I wish the ugly, sly old witch would tumble over in the ditch. I wouldn't pull her out. Not very fast. No, no, I don't think she's a bit belied. No, she's a witch. I, Molly's evil eyed. For I don't know a many a writhen blighter cast on folk by Molly's muttered spite. She did one time a dreadful deal of harm to Farmer Gruff's folk down at Lower Farm. For there, one day they happened to offend her, and not a little to their sorrow, because they wouldn't give or lend her some that she had come to beg or borrow. And so they soon began to find that she had gone and left behind her evil wish that had such power that she did make their milk and ale turn sour and addle all the eggs their fowl did lay. They couldn't fetch the butter in the churn and all the cheese began to turn all back again to curds and whey. The little pigs are running with the sow did sicken somehow, nobody no doubt, and fall and turn their snouts towards the sky and only give one little grunt and die. And all the little ducks and chicken were death struck out in the yard, a picking their bits of food and fell upon their head and flapped their little wings and dropped down dead. They couldn't fatten the calves, they wouldn't thrive, they couldn't save their lambs alive. Their sheep were all coated and give no wool, their horses fell away to skin and bones, and got so weak, they couldn't pull a half a peck of stones. The dog got dead alive and drowsy, the cat fell sick and wooden mousy, and every time the folk went up to bed, they were a haggard till they were half dead. They used to keep her out of house, tis true, a nailed up at the door a horse's shoe, and I've heard the farmer's wife to try to dork a needle or a pin in through her woad, hard, withered skin, and draw her blood a-coming by. But she could never fetch a drop, for pins would ply and needles snap again her skin. And that, in course, did make the hag bewitch em worse. <laughs>